will sit in near the front of the bus and she won't get up. Show me where. Okay. He leads the bus driver to where one of the is. She's right here. Get up, color girl. No. Well, I'm gonna go on to have you arrested. You may go on and so do. Wait. And do so. Oh, and do so. <laughs> the bus driver works, walks off the bus and up to the policeman standing nearby corner. Officer, there's a colored girl sitting near the front of the bus and she won't get up. Please come and arrest her. Show us where. Both policemen followed the bus driver onto the bus. They stepped up to Rosie. You're under arrest. You know the law. Jalen, Oh. Come with us. The policemen take Rosa off the bus with her hands behind her back. They take her to jail. Wait, Rosa. Take her to jail? This way. This way. Oh. The policemen leave Rosa to the table. Okay, just stand there. That's good. That's good. I'm going to fingerprint you. Policeman one takes Rosa's finger and press on, presses one finger at a time, pretending to take pictures. She calls Martin Luther King Jr. to come visit her again. Just very quickly, this is a very famous picture of this actual event. So this is where we are in the story, but I just wanted to show you the actual nonfiction image from this event. Okay? So Rosa, you can sit down, Jalen. Go ahead, reread um, Rosa. Policeman one. Oh. Reread Ayana. Policeman, Policeman one, one takes Rosa's finger and presses it on the one finger at a time, pretending to take fingerprints. She calls Martin Luther King Jr. to come visit her in jail. Rosa, what happened? I got arrested just for sitting near the front of the bus, and I and I refused to get up my seat for some white guy. <laughs> I'm sorry if that happened. I have an idea. Let's boycott the bus line. That's a great idea. But what do we do? They just walk and get a ride in the The bus company will lose a lot of money. That way, hopefully, we can force the bus lines to change their terrible laws. That would be fantastic, Martin. I'll tell all my friends. Are you sure you're up to it? There, there will be a lot of people angry at you and the newspapers may not be nice, but you'll be right beside you. Okay. But we'll be right beside you. Let's do it. Someone has to do something. It is time to change. Roll that mark and shake hands. Just keep it. The boycott lasted for over a year, and the bus lines lost a lot of money. Finally, the bus laws were changed in Montgomery, Alabama. Then black people could sit anywhere they wanted on the bus. Awesome. Let's give them a round of applause. Big round of applause. Give them a round of applause. Alright, five. Jalen has a seat in four. Bringing it back together in three. Bringing it back together in two. And one. Who can go ahead and just start right here? Because of, and this time we're going to actually write it down. Because of. So we read it twice in two different forms because of, so we're looking at how do people interact and connect to different events, because of, who can start with just the because? I need more hands than that. A few more hands. What do you think, Omari? Because of Rosa Parks and Martin Luther King boycotting the bus. Ooh, you're jumping way ahead. You're jumping a little bit ahead. Because of what action, though? You're jumping ahead to this part. When you're looking at causes, you got to really stop yourself. What was the cause? Try it again. Give him time and shine. Because of Rosa Parks not giving up her seat, the result was she got arrested. Okay, she got arrested. That's almost exactly what I put. I just added a different word, her refusal. Let's go ahead and silently write this down. Because of Rosa Parks' refusal, her refusal to change her, sheet, her, her seat, she was arrested. You only really need that first sentence. Can you want to grab your stuff? Probably. Mm. Oh. Sorry. Mm. Let's send to 
Arsha who's writing this down. Thank you to Leah. We have one teammate pick up the pencil.